Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Curling Gaming Pokemon X Nuzlocke Challenge where we are on Victory Road. Oh, it has been a long time coming. The team is ready. We are go this 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 is going to be quite an episode. I I will tell you I don't know the appropriate way through this cave. Uh, most of this game has been pretty linear, so I'm not that worried about it. Um, but I, yes, this, I mean, whew, exciting episode. We could be at the Elite Four by the end of the episode. We don't have Rock Smash. Moving on. This way. Seems like the way. P fight! We didn't get to catch Pokemon in Victory Road. Oh, because of Graveler. This was the exact thing that happened. And I was like, yeah, cool. And it exploded. Oh, that's what happened last time, too. Mmm, good. This had better go fine. Okay. Look, we got experience for that. Great. I'd rather not get experience for that and just not have it happen. Don't like Gravelers. Nope, nope, nope. Man. Hyper Potion. Go! Alright. Fantastic. What a good start we're off to today. We've already defeated one whole Pokemon. Aha, oh, this guy. What is he going to have? Probably fighting types. So I'm going to switch to Daven here. Uh, because Fatterhorn, not the man to do it. Hey, what do you want, Black Belt dude? I've been running around in my bare feet to train. Do you have any idea how strong that's made me? Not, not very. Machamp! Uh-huh. Very good. Very good, Machamp. Yeah. Yeah. Have you seen my legendary Bambi deer? Yeah, he's got rainbow antlers. He's pretty awesome. He's got a... Got kind of an aura going on. Moon. Moonblast. It's pretty good. Kind of hurts. Oh! One shot! One kill! Boom! Machamp. You're dead. 2,900. We'll take it. Alright, we're off to a good start. Now we're off to a good start. Now that we're not being exploded upon oh look this looks like the right way there's torches Ooh, is that it here we are oh hi oh you you're gonna have stuff okay we're gonna put fatterhorn back in front because he's the lowest level and needs the most experience and this guy looks like he could have literally anything but he wants to fight so we're gonna fight him hey what's up dude all it takes to go on a journey is a pinch of curiosity <laughs> really that's it that's it guys you know, it looks like you also have a big old backpack there. Probably shoes. Not necessarily shoes. I mean, that last guy's walking around barefoot. But I personally went for the winter coat look, as you guys can tell. Big dragon here. So we're going to go right back into Davin. Yep. Mm-hmm. Haxorus. Yeah, this guy is no joke. Mm-hmm. Go, Davin. Use your dragon attack and do nothing. Oh, slash. That's regular attack that might do something. Not going to do that much. Davin's pretty strong. We're going to Moonblast this guy right in his dumb um, Axe-themed head. Oh, man. Remember Axe? I remember Axe. He was our starter Pokemon. Oh, we got him. Haxorus down. Giant freaking dragon. Boom. Batterhorn to 56. The levels are, are they're, they're like flowing over us. That was 3,000. This might be the most experience we've gotten from a single fight this whole playthrough. Ugh. The journey the team has... What is this? Oh. The team has been on. The losses. You know, someone was telling... You know, I'm not going to talk about... I'm not, mm, I was going to say things, but I feel like I shouldn't say things. So, we're not going to. Never mind. What a good journey. Everything's great. Back into the cave. Oh, this girl, again, looks like she's going to have fighting types. So, we're just going to let Dave and continue to do his thing. and Moonblast everything in sight. Aha! Hiya! You've got some nerve to chat. I didn't, I'm not, you're the one guarding these, like, jumping rocks. I mean, whatever. Do whatever you want to do, but don't blame me. That's all I'm saying. Medicham. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fairy Aura. Boom. Moon Blast. And dead. Man. <laughs> David is so good. <laughs> like, no surprise, right? 
<laughs> he's the game mascot, so there's that. <clears throat> I kind of miss the days where the game mascots weren't legendary Pokemon, but were instead, like, starter Pokemon. I guess that was really just... Uh, red, blue, uh, leaf green, and fire red, but... Still, still... I think the starters make better game mascots than the legendaries, but they're probably not going back to that ever. So these all look like they go to the exact same thing. So the question is, where are we trying to get? This way? This way? This looks right. That looks like you need a rock smash, which we don't have. The number of black belt dudes in this cave is beginning to be a lot. Oh, what's it going to be? Hopefully not a graveler. A lickitung? So random. Why is there a lickitung in here? Lickitung is one of those, like, I think most easily forgotten Pokemon. It's horn leech this thing. Maybe we can get some life back. <laughs> Not that much life. Because, like, I, I think maybe one trainer has one in all of red and blue. And it's not, like, an obvious trainer, and it's skippable. It's I think it's outside the power plant. And then otherwise you have to trade to get it. And it's not, like, you know, I don't know. Yeah. Easily forgotten. Lick a tongue. Then they're like, oh, let's give them a evolution. The one everyone wanted. Licky Licky. Like, uh-huh. Okay. Less good blissy. Sure. All right. Whatevs. There we go. All right. Oh. Oh, I see. I was like, I'll just jump down, but we can't jump down. This girl looks like like some sort of psychic type user, right? So we're gonna switch over to the Xerxinator. Get ready, get ready to feel a giant purple hug. You don't need to say a word. I can tell that you're here because you want to challenge a strong opponent. Yes, those opponents being the Elite Four, Psychic William. You're just sort of in the way. I'm surprised these guys don't have multiple Pokemon but are all just content to have made it all the way through the region with their uh, single poke but BAM not impossible though BAM oh so dead excuse me I also feel like these guys might be a little more challenging if they weren't so um, dressed for the part, you know? It's very obvious what they're going to have based on, like, what they're wearing. And that's giving me a slight advantage. Like, I wonder what kind of Pokemon this dude running around in his karate suit's going to have. Is it bug types? No, it's not bug types. It's going to be fighting types. What's over here? Can I get an item? Oh, it's a double battle. Brains and brawn up here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. First, let's go fight this dude. And actually, we're going to switch back to Davin because... That's the duo you want, though, right? Davin and Xerxen. Mm-hmm. Unstoppable. Very pointy. Ba-ding! <laughs> Moves are a result of a Pokemon's strength. What? They just say things. Like that's what he's been I like to think that's all he's been thinking. He's been, I've been pacing here for years. And this is the this is the thing I have come to accept. Moves are the result of a Pokemon streak that all makes sense. Yes, of course. Alright, mold breaker. How about moon breaker? Moon, moon blast but you I'm gonna kill you. You're dead! Hooray! Moving on, what else you got for me? Oh, Heracross, very fun, very fun. Still fighting type, still gonna go down to the old Moon Blasterus here. But, you know, that's just how things go. 
I'm surprised at the outrageous number of fighting type trainers. Like, there's not, a, there's a surprising lack of variety thus far for Victory Road. Like, normally there's a lot of, um, what does this do? Copy, no, we don't want that. No, 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 no. Keep old moves. Yeah, give up, forget it. David doesn't get, doesn't, there's no time for other people to have stat changes when David's in the fight. He's just like, uh, Moonblast or Horn Leech. When two Pokemon use the same move, the stronger one will win. Well, I can't fault your logic there, I guess. Item. What is it? Anything good? A Carbos. Yeah, glad I came up here for that. All right, so we've already got Zerxen and Daven up front for this Brains and Brawn fight. So I think we're ready to go. Let's just take them on. This is not an easy combination typically to take on, though. Like, I understand why they're here. But I'm thinking we're going to be able to handle them. So I'm going to teach you a lesson. People call us strange for being more interested in perfecting our teamwork than challenging the champion. I think you're strange because you're standing together side by side in a cave. I mean, teamwork's great. The galley. Oh, wait. Oh, look, they're both fighting psychic types. I get it. That's adorable, you guys. You guys are so cute. First of all, though, we're going to get rid of that galley because it looks like the way stronger of the two. Yeah. And I think I'm just... You, bu 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 Let's just focus all of our attention on Gallade. And if one takes him down, great. I'm less concerned about... Okay, so yeah, he's not going to get a shot off. That's definitely going to take him down. And I'm not that concerned about the Medicham. Overall. Oh, Reflect. Good one, good one. Now both members of your team are protected. Wow, yeah, all the difference it will make. All of the difference in the world, I am sure. Crunch! Nom, 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 nom. I did, it did make a pretty good difference. But not a difference enough. Ah! Oh. You have been defeated. As they all have been. The real scary thing about Victory Road, I'm pretty sure we're going to have to fight Wine Gums one last time. And she's not exactly super easy. She's normally pretty good. Oh, there's two directions we could go. Let's test out this one because it looks like the secret direction. And there's an item. <gasps> oh, wow. Very glad we came out here. So we're probably... I don't know how many other rare candies we have, but we'll probably just... Um, use those all right before we start fighting the Elite Four. Uh-huh. What's over here, though? That looks like it's going to be an item on that little stalagmite. Oh, a Drudagon! Well, I'm definitely just going to Moonblast this thing. Right? <laughs> the only thing is we're running low on Moonblast. We've only got seven to go. <clears throat> or six to go. I don't know how much more of the cave we've got, but it seems like we're moving through it pretty quickly thus far. Oh, I love these torches. It's such a fun effect. Hey, look, it's a little girl who in some ways I think is like more dangerous than the other people because I don't have any idea what she might have. Hi, let's fight. What you looking at? You think I'm just doing this fairy tale girl thing for funsies, do you? Get a taste of my bow. Oh, fairy fairies, well. I have a certain purple scorpion. Perhaps you'd be interesting in meeting. Mm-hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Fat horn. Get out there. Or, honestly, maybe at this rate. Should we just bring in Xylia? Hmm, let's see how this goes. I wonder if he's going to use a water type attack or a fairy type attack. Because we can just thunderbolt it to death too. Roll out. Oh. Well, that was unexpected. 
super effective, but we honestly did more damage with the Rocky Helmet, so... The only thing is that Rollout gets stronger each turn, so we'll have to not... Okay, but it's only going to hit us one more time, and he's going to hit with more Rocky Helmet damage, so... Uh, yeah. Couldn't heal if he wanted to either, because now they're stuck doing Rollout, and you're going to get Thunderbolted, and you're dead. There you go. The big... Xylia. Florges. Oh, hi, Florges. How are you? Uh, we're going to switch to Xerxen now. Because they do have at least grass type attacks. And the poison is just going to wreck them. The old poison jab. Misty terrain. Oh, no. <gasps> Everything turned pink. All right. But I'm going to turn everything purple real quick. So just get ready for that. And you're dead. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Well done, Zaxxon. Mm-hmm. Xylia. 59. Booyah. That's what's up. There we go. Whoa, you're good. That's right, I'm good. Don't want to brag or anything, but... Oh, what is this girl going to have? Ah, uh, see, that's like a rock smasher right there. Don't have anything for that. Uh, what? Well, you look like maybe you'll have ghost types, in which case, Fatterhorn would be a very good option. In some ways, we don't really, I don't know, we might not be able to hit you. Gorgeous! No, we can hit this, don't worry. You just can't use your ghost type attacks on me, but I will be able to hit you with, mm, well, I'm not going to hit you with, like, normal type attacks. I could hit you with heavy slam. Trick or treat, what does that even do? Ghost type was added to Fatterhorn. That's interesting. Am I like two types now? I don't think I could hit it with any of my other attacks. So we're just going to keep heavy slamming. Bullet seed. Not really that concerned about that. Yeah. Wouldn't it be great? Oh man. I wonder if an attack like this, if they hit the Rocky Helmet, would take like four times the damage. Oh my god, you get all five? Great. Sure you did. Uh-huh. Boom. One more. Crit. And we'll heal. I guess the crit doesn't matter. It was going to take us three hits no matter what. There we go. Please don't hit me five times again with you. Don't. What? How many attacks do you have? What is going on here? Kablamp. <laughs> you know what's weird is that once upon a time... Did we have a curse on him at one point? Because if we had the ghost type added to us and we used curse... We suddenly would have, like, cast Curse instead of, like, done the slow down, power up thing. We did take some damage there, not a lot. But I'm going to go ahead and do a, do a quick Helio. Right there on the fats, just in case. Never know what's going to happen with these guys. Oh! Pokemon Ranger! Alright. Boo! Victor Road is tough. Rest up a minute. Oh! Oh! Thanks so much. That's very nice of you. Okay. Cool. I appreciate it. Makes me feel like there's a hard fight coming, but... Oh, oh man, I did not think I was going to be a run up here if that never happens. A quick ball. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Thank you, thank you. Good to know we have a little Pokemon Center right there. That's nice. Oh, no! <sighs> it's going to be wine gums. Here we go. This is it. The big one. Oh, look at that. They're giving you the big cinematic moment there. I've been thinking ever since all that trouble in Geocent, Lysander chose only Team Flair. You and I chose everyone but Team Flair. But since our positions forced our hands, you can't really say any of us were right. That's why I feel that if both sides have something to say, maybe it's best to meet halfway. From now on, I don't want to battle just to win, but to see how you and your Pokemon think and feel. That's the kind of Pokemon battle I'm going to have with you right now. Ah, oh boy, of course. Here we go. Here we go. This is the big one. This is the big one. Meowstic. Oh, man, I totally would have just led with Xerxen, too. Had I known. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. The big meow. The question is, should we just immediately switch anyway? 
Or should we just try and take this thing down? Like we could try and like power up on it. I think I'm gonna switch. Man, I would have, I would have, if I known it was coming. I, sh I even thought about it, and I was like, oh, so this is maybe, maybe this, maybe they gave you the heal because here. But okay, just went for the fake out there. Okay, the question is, we could actually probably go for a swords dance here if we wanted to, and then we'd be in a really nice position for whatever else she sends in. Maybe. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's swords dance up. Let's show her what's up. Mm-hmm. Disarm war. So this is a fairy type attack. It's not going to be very powerful. We're pretty resistant to such things. And now, okay, she's let us set up on her. So she is doomed. There we go. Big crunch. Let's do it. One shot, one kill. Boom. That's what's up, Xerxen. Okay. One down. I'm so nervous. We're like so close. And I do not want to lose anyone. Vaporeon. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so... The better option would probably just be to go to Xylia, but there's also the possibility we could just try and like poison drab it and poison it. I don't know how much damage it can do to us, but really, it really can't do anything to Xylia. So even though we have a Swords Dance, I'm just going to switch out. And maybe we'll take a free Water Absorb here. Muddy Water. Yep, there we go. That's fantastic. That is fantastic. Now we're just going to Thunderbolt this thing. Thunderbolt! That's what's up. Go, go, go. Oh, it's got so much HP. Not very effective. It's not going to probably use many um, physical attacks, though. So we're probably not going to capitalize on the Rocky Helmet here. But we're going to Thunderbolt. Maybe we can Paralyze it. That would be nice. Eh, come on. We're going to get one more. The Aurora Beam. I mean, we're already an Ice type, so it can't do anything. Yeah. Thunderbolt! Xylia is such a good water killer. She can just come in here and stop all their water attacks. Thunderbolt everything down. Such a convenience. Xerxen grew to 60. Boom. First one to 60. Who's surprised? Nobody. Oh, the chestnut. Okay, so... We can go for the ice beam here if we want. The thing, so, we should be covered... In terms of like his grass stuff. I'm going to go for the ice beam. Let's see how this goes. Oh! Maybe we'll just freeze him and I'll get super lucky. Oh! Oh! We did it! Oh! Oh my goodness! I did not! That has just so rarely happens. Oh my gosh. We might have dodged a bullet. Ice beam. Ice beam. The chestnut was nothing! Xylia is insane! Oh! Oh! That was amazing! That was that was the, maybe one of the luckier hits we've had. I was so afraid of that Pokemon the whole game because I'm so convinced it was going to use um, Hammer Arm. I know it gets it at some point, and this would be the fight. Uh, Ice Beam. Let's go. Confide? What is that? Special Attack fell. Well, even so, you're like four times weak to this, though, bro. Mm-hmm. Ice be Dragon Balls. Uh, yeah, nothing. Shake it off. Shake it off. Probably saved itself for one turn by lowering the special attack there because it almost died. And comes in the Absol. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to switch out now to Daven because don't think she can really do much more damage to us and this is uh just sort of a safer uh fight and we're just gonna like hit him with the old mega horn and that should do it you got a big horn i've got a ton of freaking antlers here night slash that shouldn't really do anything yeah not very fact that was a crit that was a crit and it was a stab crit probably his best move we're just gonna mega horn him yeah, with all of our giant antlers, all at once, big mega horn, kablow, uh, there it is, we did it, boom, take that wine gums, you're dead, oh, oh, so dead, so dead, yes, oh, oh, sorry, you didn't do almost any damage at all, yes, 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 boy, Xylia, the hero of that match, the clutch, clutch, ice beam freeze, mm-hmm, 
Oh, Max survives. Great, 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 great. Cool. I'm renewing my rivalry. Uh huh. Yep. Did, why would you need to renew it? That's what I want to know. Hey, Pokemon Ranger Girl, come heal me. Do me a Helios. Hey. hey. Oh boy, that was exciting. I, we must be, we must be like there though, right? Like that's it. You'd think. That feels like it would be the last thing. I can't imagine why they would have anyone else left to fight you after that. Oh, but I could be wrong. But I've been wrong before. Oh, what is this? A fight? Mmm, a Drudagon? Alright. Switch to the Daven. <laughs> Fatter her good to 57 on another wild druid god. Let's let the move Giga Impact. Oh man, now, now we have some decisions, don't we? The user charges at the target every bit of power. Oh, oh, I kind of want to do it. Can we get rid of what could fatter horn like power punch pretty solid so far the thing is so i don't think heavy slam has been that effective so far like we use it against the gorge ice but we could have just switched out um otherwise it hasn't been that good giga impact seems like it could be like a this is like a last ditch sort of thing like we'll have to sit there for a turn but we do have leftovers, which is good. Otherwise, the thing is, I wish I could just get rid of strength for this, but you can't get rid of strength right now. It'd be nice to, because otherwise, like strength and body slam are already kind of the same, like strength is just a little bit stronger, but body slam can paralyze. And then this would be like, this is a lot stronger. So let's, let's look at it again. It's 150 versus 85 so yeah it's almost twice as strong as one of these it's like doing two at once mm, i'm gonna go for it because it seems fun giga impact here we go sorry heavy slam you're out giga impact is in gonna heal up david real quick because took some damage on those drudagon fights bada boom All right, let's fight this girl. So I've gotten so steady, my right arm at this angle, my left hand goes my hip. Next, I bend my knees ever so slightly. Okay, what are you talking about? Petra, slow bro. All right. Hmm hmm hmm. You know what we're gonna bring in Miss Zylia, hero of the last battle. Take this dude down. I guess we could also bring in. Um, Zerk's in here to try and night slash it, but uh, that might even have been smarter because then we'd have the the resistance to the psychic part as well. Flamethrower? Why do you have flamethrower at all? It seems so random. Whatever. Aha! Water absorb. I'll take that. Oh, look, we actually got the heal off. We almost never get the heal from it, so that's good. And he's down, just like that. I feel like we must be so close to the end of Victory Road. Altaria, another one. Boy, two fights in a row they said you out with an Altaria. Like, I swear, I think the Pokemon company loves Altaria because they're like, look, look, it's a dragon, but you, it's, you get, it's like so non-threatening. I feel like, in my mind, they just, they love Altaria. And they love that it's a dragon and that it doesn't look like a dragon. They... It's just, it's just everywhere. Level 60. There we go. Like, they're always catching you off guard, because when you caught Swablu, you were like, what a, what a silly little flying type thing. I guess we can't go up here, right? So we have to go, whoop. Oh, no. 
this is frustrating. We're absolutely going to use a rappel here because I would want to just be able to focus on the the game. Max rappel. Here we go. I guess the Pokemon here might be strong enough that it wouldn't matter, but... Oh, look, we still ran into something. Maybe that means it's super good. Or it's a freaking girder. Okay, so, uh... I don't think we're going to be able to run away from this thing, so just out of safety sake, I'm going to switch. Because Fatterhorn is not very fast, and if he takes, like, a big attack from that thing, it's going to hurt. Boy, Daven has been an enormously helpful Pokemon inside this cave. Like, we weren't using him too much. But, like, if we didn't have him, like, everything's so weak to fighting, you know, otherwise. That's, like, our obvious massive weakness on the team. Look at that. Three pokes to level 60 in this episode. That's amazing. Well done, team. Is this it? Are we there? Oh, we have one more? I think this might be the last one, you guys. Here we go. Vet, vet, veteran, vet, vet, veteran, veteran all the way. So what do you think of my theme song? Now it's time for a battle. Okay, if you say so, man. Oh, veteran Gerard. Send out Benete. I don't even know what that is. Oh, this thing. Oh! Oh, no, okay. Um, that was... <laughs> like, now we need Heavy Slam, right? Because we can't hit it with anything, because we're all normal and fighting. I'm not sure what he could hit us with either, but... Um, either way, we're just going to send in... Who would be good against this thing? I think we're going to send in... I'm so bad about knowing what's good against ghost types. Um... I'm pretty sure Bug is good against Ghost. So we're just going to send in Daven and we'll Megahorn this thing. We also have x on Duong, I guess. Thunderbolt! Oh boy. Don't you paralyze me. Okay, good. Megahorn! Not very effective. Oh! You're going to be like that. You're like all about the thunder types. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Interesting. So let's try just to moonblast you. Just hit you with straight up power. We fought the paralysis. And Bennett is dead. There we go. Oh, it's exciting to think this might be the last fight. What was this? Leafeon! If you say so, man. If you say so. Let's bring out Chloeo here because Chloeo hasn't had a fight today and she's itching for it. This thing's going down. Unnerve yeah, don't you dare eat any berries. Swords dance. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Not thinking it's going to super matter. Thinking we're just going to flamethrower this thing. Yeah, and it's going to go down in one Glorious shot, and I was right. There you go. Well done, Chloeo. Way to get a fight in for the day. Woo! Almost got the level. I guess my theme song didn't help my battling skills. No, they did not. You are correct about that. Is this it? Are we there? <gasps> no. Oh, my gosh. Could we just be there already? Okay. Well, we've been going for 40 minutes so far. So, as close as we are. And we've got to be so close now. Um, I think... No. You know what? I just want to get the freaking Elite Four. I was going to I was gonna say stop, but I feel like we're just going to continue on. <laughs> I just want to get there. Let's... Where's my full restore? Here we go. Heal you up. We are not going to lose someone this close. We are almost there. All right, here we go. <sighs> In order to meet strong trainers and strong Pokemon, one only has to battle. Okay, here we go. H Trainer Michelle, Macargo. <laughs> Macargo, my goodness. Is there a worse fire type? No. There's not. 
Uh, Zylio. Good news. Actually, maybe this wasn't a good move because he could still hit us with like Rock Slide or something. I mean, if he doesn't, I mean, here's the thing. If he doesn't kill us right now, and he didn't, uh, that's pretty much it because now we're just going to surf. And it's four times effective against him, so he's down. There we go. There we go. Yeah, dead. Mm-hmm. And we're asleep. Fantastic. What else you got? <gasps> Caesar. Ooh, very interesting indeed. Very interesting indeed. We're going to switch out to Chloeo for this. So this thing could potentially land two hits on us because I assume it's pretty quick. But it can't eat berries. X scissor. Let's see how this does. Okay. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good because our flamethrower is definitely just going to wreck it. Oh, we went fast. We're faster than it. Okay, so then you're dead. Yeah. Scizor has got to be one of the most cool designs for a Pokemon just ever. Like, <laughs> Scyther, already amazing looking. Could we make him even cooler looking? Hmm. Arguable. Many people would probably agree that yes. Um, Scyther's like my favorite Pokemon though, so. Uh, oh, is this it? This look. Do we need waterfall? Is that a thing? Do we have to have a waterfall? I don't no one's given it to us yet. Dun da da dun da da dun da da dun 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 Oh my gosh. This looks very much like it almost has to be it, right? Look at this lovely these stairs, that hallway. <sighs> Let's do it! After all the training I've received on Ricky Road, my body is ready. Think you can defeat me? Well, like, yeah, I do. I mean, no one else has come even close. Trevenant! <laughs> Again, this is where we need a heavy slam. I immediately regret this decision. But not that much. You know what I mean? Not that much. Honestly, this isn't that big of a deal because we have Chloeo here, so his ghost type attack shouldn't hurt her because she's also part normal. And. Uh, obviously we're just burning being all grassy and stuff, so. Oh, you laid a curse upon me. Cut your health, and you're going to hurt Chloeo. Okay. We're going we're gonna to risk this one turn here, because I'm pretty sure we'll just knock it out immediately, and then we'll be able to switch out before the curse totally kills us. That's my plan, anyway. If that kills me, though, I'm going to be... Oh, boy. Gigalith. All right. Definitely need to switch either way. Hmm. But who to go to from here? Oh, Xylee is asleep. That's terrible. Okay. Let's go to David because we can horn leech it. I guess there's potential for this thing to do some damage. Don't know what he's going to use. Stone Edge. That might hurt. Ooh, oh, that was a crit. Okay, so if he doesn't get a We're going to Horn Leech. We're going to be faster. Use Protect. To what end? I guess maybe if you had still been cursed, that would have been a big deal. But Horn Leech is going to steal life back and probably quite a bit. A good amount. Enough to survive another crit stone edge. Not that it's going to get crit again. Now, however, I'm less liking where we're at. Because at that point, it looks like another one might kill us. Because I would have thought Horn Leech was going to do even more than it did. And it didn't. So we're just going to heal up real quick. He's going to use stone edge. Mm-hmm. Not going to get the crit this time. Yeah, there we go. And now we're in a pretty good position. Now we can horn leech him. He's going down. We're gonna heal up. And yeah. You ought to be defeated. Oh, it hurt. You got another freaking crit. Jeez. That is a strong move. Gigalith was defeated. Just like that. Can't believe we didn't miss with that at all. It's like a I don't think it's a particularly accurate type accurate attack. There we go. All right. 
I think that was it. But just in case, we're still going to full restore on you. On you. And on you, because you're asleep. Just, just to wake up, you know? There we go. Alright, have we done it? Are we here? No, there's still... There's so many trainers. <laughs> this, it's like, you're there. This hallway goes on forever. Veteran Katrina. Glaceon. Bring it on, dude. Again. We should have gotten rid of Heavy Slam. So many opportunities for it to be good. Uh, power up punch. Blizzard? I think this is going to be okay. We shouldn't take much damage from ice type attacks. Except we're freaking frozen! <laughs> are you kidding? Of course we are. Of course we are. Alright. Okay. That's annoying. So annoying. Oh, uh, here we go. Where is it? Um, do we have like a full heal? And ice. I'm going to use the ice heal because how often does this happen? Yeah, look. We're better. Jeez. Blizzard, yeah. Good luck with that one. You missed the second time. Now, if you'll excuse me, power up punch. If you freeze us again, I'm going to freak out. Okay. <laughs> it did not do enough damage. Okay. Let's try a, just a body slam, see how much we do. We have the power up now. You're going to run out of blizzards at this point, you stupid Glaceon. <sighs> there we go. It's done almost no damage to us. So we're going to power up again just because it'll give us a little bit more um, for whatever's next. As long as we don't get frozen solid, which we did. <laughs> we just... The, freeze is just a thing that never even happens in this game, you know? And now it's happened twice in this battle, and just, <laughs> this is so annoying. I sh okay, I think she ran out of blizzards, so I don't think we have to worry about that anymore. And at this point, I don't think she can do enough damage to uh, make a dent. So we're going to, again, power up punch. Yeah, she actually ran out of blizzards, that's what happened. And has done so little damage. And now we're powered up twice. And whatever you bring in is going to get giga impacted. Probably unless it's like a fighting type. In which case I'm going to get scared and run. That's what's going to happen. Leftovers, come on. Oh, you have a Snorlax. That's adorable. Okay, well I'm just going to keep power up punching then. Because it's weak. Why are you faster? If you paralyze me. It is very frustrating how much damage that did. Like, do we need to be concerned? We should not have taken that much damage. Should we just switch? Who would we even bring in to fight an another Snorlax? We don't have anything particularly well equipped to this situation. I mean, Duong might be pretty good. All right, hold on, hold on, this is hilarious. We're, we're just gonna... Fats, you're taking a weird amount of damage in this fight. Not a weird amount, but... How much damage is he? If you get paralyzed, 259... Okay. Okay. Guys, should we go for the Giga Impact against the other Snorlax? I think so! Here we go. Big new move. Don't get paralyzed. Let's see how it goes. We've been power up, punched twice. Yeah. Okay. Like that should that was pretty powerful. Nicely done, Fatterhorn. The true most powerful Snorlax in the land. Bwahaha. I didn't even consider that she could have had Giga Impact, which she totally could have because she was higher level. Uh, where are we at here? We're not gonna we're not gonna die, fats. We're not going down. Not like that. Oh my gosh, are you the last one? 
to cap off your string of battles, I want you to come out with all your might. Okay, I think this is it. We might have actually done it. This could be the end. For real, though. A Skarmory. Okay. Skarmory's pretty good. Skarmory's pretty good. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. You're not a bad Pokemon. That's for sure. Um, can we paralyze you? You're very defensive. We could go... Chloeo. This is probably their best bet to get rid of this thing, though, is the Chloeo. Because Flamethrower are good against Skarmory. Steel Wing. Let's see how this does. Just terrible. Okay. So we can... Let's just see how the Flamethrower does. I bet... One shot? Oh! It's 30. I was like, what are the odds? Pretty good, because... Yeah. There we go. Okay. Flamethrower. Now you're dead. Fatterhorn and Chloeo get some experience, and then we have one more Pokemon to kill before we get to the Elite Four. My goodness. My goodness, my gracious. Alakazam, it is so dead. Um, we're going to switch out how perfect that Xerxen is going to be the one to take out the final Pokemon between us and Glory. Let's go, Xerxen. Oh my god, Focus Blast, that's what it used? Oh, that's sneaky. That is sneaky. We're still going to crunch this thing. If that hurts us. Oh my gosh, it did so much damage. One shot, one kill. Glass Cannon, kill it. Yes, dead. Oh man. I, might, I was like, oh my god, if Xerxen dies on this, on a fight, it should so clearly win. Oh wait, there's more. Umbreon. Let's go to... Why do we have good dark types? Did we decide that? Let's go to... No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I was using... Let's go to Daven. Also an appropriate fighter. They've really peppered in all the different uh, Eevee forms into Victory Road, haven't they? Like, we fought a Glaceon, a Leafeon, an Umbreon, an Espeon, a Vaporeon. Did we find a Flareon or Jolteon? No. Not that I recall. No Sylveon either, but that's an Elite Four thing. That's why they're holding that one back. Is it? No, it was a gym thing. I'm surprised there hasn't been another one. Veteran Giles, you're done. Yes, you lost with all your might. Very good. Thank you for the $7,000. Are we freaking there? I swear. We have got to be. We have got to be. <gasps> we did it! Oh my gosh. We are at the Pokemon League. At law. I'm going in. There we go. Now we will reset to here. Heal. Oh my gosh. We made it. We're there. Guys, next episode. Elite 4. It is happening. At least some of them. <laughs> One, we'll, see, we'll see how quickly we're able to defeat them. Or if we're able to defeat them at all. So, yeah. Gonna be tough. We have water, fire, steel, dragon, and then the champion. Um, in whatever order we want, except the champion has to be last, obviously. So, we'll have to think about how we're gonna do that. Thank you so much for watching. We're almost there, you guys. This is so exciting. I'm like, whew, man, what a what a fun playthrough it's been. We've been recording for almost an hour this morning. So, this has been a long episode. Thanks for sticking with me. We made it through Victory Road. I will see you next time. Thanks for liking the video. Bye!